This video is going to be a lot different um, than my other ones. Um, it's not going to be a speedy uh, tutorial where it's sped up and I don't talk or anything. Um, this is probably going to be the style I'll do things from now on. Um, so today I'm actually going to do, um, um is my favorite word in case you can't tell. Going to do a cosplay tutorial on, um, Neelin from Homestuck. Uh, Neelin's my absolute, one of my absolute favorite characters from anything ever. Um, I just, I really, I, she's a kin. I'm a dirty kinny. I'm a filthy kinny. Make fun of me in the comments. I don't care. It's out now. <laughs> I've kept it in for so long and now it's out. But um, anyways, I'm doing an in-depth tutorial on how I do any troll makeup, um, the basis of it. But then, of course, I'm going to customize it for specifically Neelan, which is my favorite. And, um, so like any makeup that you do, you want to start with a clean face. Now, I always clean my face either, you know, old-fashioned face wash and whatever, or, you know, if you're in a pinch and you just want to try something without, like, doing the whole shebang, just use, like, a makeup wiper. You know, these are from the dollar store. I don't know if you can see those. But, um, quick wipe down. I always tone and I always mo uh, moisturize. If you don't have a toner or you can't find a toner, always use, um, witch hazel. Um, which hazel is an uh, astringent, so it will help with regulating the oil on your face and help with acne and all of that fun stuff. I have already done that, so I'm not going to show you that in this video. What I am going to show you is me, we're going to start from the priming stage to the final product. So, without further ado, we're starting with the primer. So, I'm actually going to use this primer, it is from Heart Candy. Um, um, this primer is a color correcting um, primer. It's green, so to get rid of the redness. How dare my phone do that right now? And so what I do, let me, so what I do, I always just slam some on my fingers. Um, I just, I always use my finger for this primer because I don't really like it and it tends to just settle in one space and then not smooth after a minute and then like you'll have big globs of green. Um, that's my personal dislike of this primer and I always grab too much. Always. You don't want this much. You don't want to be green. <laughs> but what the green does is it cancels out the red. and. I have freckles, I have acne, I just have redness in my skin, so I use the green to kind of even out my tone, and you just kind of want to throw it in until it's not so green. You can see it's really bad on my forehead still. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just kind of wipe it, you know, kind of go everywhere with it, just kind of let it vibe on your face, you know. Careful, put it around your piercings if you got piercings. Always find them like, I've got naked spots around my piercings and I shouldn't have them. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention. Um, so we are using Snazaru, which is a quick, just a quick thing. I'll do a, a close look at it. You can tell mine's pretty old. I don't usually use Snazaru. Um, I usually use, oh shit usually use Krylon, um, water base. It's the same kind of thing. It's cake like this, but it lasts better, and I like the color of it better. But because I know a lot of you, especially if you're just beginning this, or if you're just, you know, getting into this, Snazaru is probably going to be your first paint. It's cheap. You can find it almost anywhere. Um, but before you start anything, maybe while you're washing your face or whatever, you want to put a little bit of water on your cake just so that the water soaks in and gets it ready to be spread on your skin. Um, which I almost forgot to tell you guys, which wouldn't have been good, so. Okay, we did the color correcting and the priming of the whole of my face. Now we're going to 
color correct around my eyes because they are dark. Close up, I would include a close up of this as well, which you're going to hear me say a lot because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, this is like at the dollar store for a dollar. It's from LA Colors and this is a pink color correcting primer. Pink will cancel out any purple. So any kind of darkness, you can use a pink or a red and it should cancel out. So I just do a little bit on my, on my eyes. And I personally use beauty blenders um, more often than not. If you're not comfortable with beauty blenders, you don't have to use them. I'm not forcing you to. It's just what I use. You can use your fingers. You can use a brush. Whatever you're comfortable with. And I just kind of, you know, pop that around, make it nice and even on my eyes. Okay. So. I'm primed, my skin is even. Skin is nice and even. You can see where the pink is versus the green. Um, I guess it's now it's time to start the snazz roof, right? So, for doing any water based uh, body kind of makeup or, you know, face paint, um, I always keep little thing of water with me next to my cake of whatever I'm using that has been pre-moistened and then I always keep baby powder baby powder is white um, you could use a translucent lucent powder if you don't have it I just don't have a translucent loose powder plus baby powder is so much cheaper than buying a like name brand or like drugstore brand makeup product um, and you can pick up baby powder anywhere. Like, always keep that near me. Um, what else do I keep? I keep my brushes. So I have one brush that's for the face paint, and then I have a brush that's for the powder. And I also will probably be trying to use a beauty blender. I have one beauty blender that I specifically use for face paint, and one that I use for foundation. I know it's weird like that, but that's that's just what I be doing. So, Beauty Blender, pre-moistened. You want it to be moistened. I used Beauty Blenders for like two years before I knew that they needed to be wet. So, without further ado, we're gonna start with our first layer. So, a nice little tip I learned about Snazaroo <laughs> is to mix foundation with it. So Snazaru will crack on you. It'll crack and it'll go everywhere and it'll look like shit and you're gonna be pissed because you just spent three hours painting your face. So what you wanna do to make it last a little bit better and to make the color nicer, I think it makes the, Snazaru is like a real, the light gray Snazaru is kind of bluish. I don't really like that. I like it to have more of a like greenish flesh tone especially when I'm doing a character like Mulan that's on the, has like a warmer blood color. Now if I was doing like Equius or Vriska, I might not, I mean I'd still mix in a little bit of this, but the blue color would look better for them if that makes sense. So what I did was, I don't even know if this foundation is even sold anymore. I always take some of this foundation and put it on my hand. Now every time I have a foundation bottle that's running out, I put it in this cheap foundation, just recycles it and keeps it for the next time and I never run out. So I always put a little bit on my hand, I don't know if you can see that there, and I'll wet my brush and I'll get some of the gray, see like this, and I'll just dab a little bit of uh, the foundation and mix it in with the gray in my, pal in my pad or my cake, and then I'll just start at the bottom. And just start putting kind of an even layer on. First layer, it's gonna be thin. It's gonna look weird. It it doesn't have to be perfect. You're especially if this isn't your first time doing it. You're still learning. Um, you, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time you do this. Um, my makeup definitely wasn't perfect the first time I did it. It's just it's a process, and the only way to learn is to do it. 
basically I keep the beauty blender just in case things look kind of rough around the edges I can get it now if you get some on your piercings if you have piercings that's fine you can just clean it off with a q-tip later with some water uh, snazzer is water based so it's not very hard to get off of your skin at all um, I don't think I've ever had it stain any like clothing or anything because um, it is water based so it will wash right out small mirror so I can show you guys better because it's it's weird to have it backwards up on the camera I'm I'm learning feel free to make funky faces no one's judging you the only person judging you is you this time no one's holding you back if you run out of foundation you know what you can do just put more in your hand no one's stopping you probably the most even I've ever seen my makeup come out like on the first try and that's that's saying something okay got your first layer of makeup down what you want to do after your first layer of makeup you want to seal it and you want to let it dry so what you do is you just brush powder put that bad boy in there and dust it on I would suggest doing your powder over top of a towel or something so you're not having to clean off your uh, clothes and powder like you can see I have powder all over me now but just like if you're doing foundation and you put powder over your foundation it sets it so it doesn't move that's what you're doing here and if you're super paranoid about your makeup moving if you use hairspray as sealant I mean kind of unpleasant but it works and now that you know, setting spray is more available. You can use that. See when so when I started <laughs> when I first started cosplaying, of course, Homestuck was my first like cosplay, you know, community. Um, everyone was like, you have to have the bin eye sealant and the bin bin eye oil paint and this and that and it was just so expensive, you know. Grace over here living in poverty poverty, you know, I can't afford that. So you make do with what you can find. Snazaroo was the most money I could spend on something, so. Snazaroo, baby powder, hairspray, was. So, just wanna let this dry. Really only the side is wet. The reason you wanna let it dry. It is water, water based. What happens when you add more water to, to watercolor? It makes it more watered down. You don't wanna water down the makeup you just did and then have to reapply it. It's very, very frustrating. Trust me, I've done it a million times, and every time I do it, I go, why did I just do that to myself? I, I know that was a mistake that I did, and I did it anyways. Moral of the story is, take your time. No one's rushing you. So I think this side of my face is still a little wet, so I'll start over here. And I'm just gonna grab some more foundation on my hand. Now, when I do this, I usually do about three layers. Um, I found three layers. Um, it's the word. Uh, covers the best. Um, makes, you know, the best kind of finish, I guess. I know, it, it looks more covered. You look, you ha it's like you have more coverage. Now you don't have to do it on your lips. Um, I'm doing it, excuse me, mostly because I like to do like a cat mouth or mulein. Um, I like to just do my top lip and then I like to make my bottom lip kind of green, which I do have green. I totally forgot I had green lipstick that I can use for this. Um, so you probably will see me digging that out of my makeup kit. Um, now because this is going to be a 413 video, I'm just going to talk about um, while I'm doing this how I got into Homestuck and how long I've been in Homestuck and all that. So, I first encountered Homestuck in my junior year of high school, um, which was, I graduated in 2014. Well, 20, 
12 I learned about it a couple of I went to a vocational school that was my first year of the vocational school and my new friends a couple of them were really into it and I was like oh what's this this is cool I like the characters well long story short I didn't get into it till that summer so summer of 2013 you got Grace sitting on computer in the family room uh, surprised we even had internet at that point uh, there wasn't many times I had internet um, reading freaking homestuck and crying in front of everybody you know the norm um, I didn't really heavily get in to I didn't start cosplaying I think until 2014 um, the first time I cosplayed was Ohio Con um, 2014 um, and that was my first con too and I went to it with my friends and I went as Mulan so I've been cosplaying Mulan since I've been in since I've been cosplaying you know since I started cosplaying I've cosplayed her for a really long time now um like I said I started I'm a Leo too, so like that's part of it. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I just, she just really stuck out to me and I really liked her and I, I saw a lot of myself in her. Um, odd, I know, for like a webcomic. That's really dumb. <laughs> but anyways, I I went as Mew Lin, uh, my one friend went as Terezi, and my other friends went as I want to say Aradia and Buffery, but they, we were all cute, you know, just little baby homestucks. And that was my first ever cosplay, my first ever con, and I was just so freaking excited. And I had so much. I, does anyone else have that like problem? Was like when you're re, like when you're younger and stuff, like you just love cons and they're so magical and everything. And then when you get older and you go to them, you're like, what is going on? It's like you just start seeing all the issues and stuff with them. I don't know, that's been my problem recently, that's why I'm, like, I always think I want to go to a convention until I get to the convention and I'm like, oh my god, this is, these people are freaking nuts, like, it's just not as fun as I remember it ever being, and I don't know why that is, um, I guess I'm just, like, more in tune to seeing people doing creepy things, uh, which I see too much, and I will call you out on it if I see it, um, which makes, gives me, like, which, like, you know, 50-50 makes me not want to go to conventions, but also makes me feel like I need to go to protect people that are vulnerable. Plus, sometimes I feel like I'm too old. Like, I'll be 24 this year, and it's like, oh, uh, maybe I should, you know, come up with a different hobby. But I just like painting my face sometimes. You know? Kind of relaxing. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't painted myself gray in over a year so like this is odd to see myself gray again I'm not gonna worry like I want to try to cover my forehead but I'm not gonna worry too much about it but anywho if you want to tell me about your first con experience or your first time reading Homestuck or any of that that'd be awesome I love to hear your guys' stories about that um it's just it's I don't know, I feel like the first time you read Homestuck, it's so confusing, but then, like, I don't know, I feel like the community is really good about, um, you know, kind of explaining things to each other. Like, uh, our community can be really toxic. I was there in 2014, so, like, I have the right to say so, because some of us were really bad. But you know what was worse? The super hulocks. You know what we never talk about? The super hulocks. And you know what I'm probably going to stop speaking about? The super hulocks. Gonna be honest, I don't really like any of those shows. Um, Doctor Who's okay. Uh, Sherlock, I couldn't get into. Uh, Supernatural, I feel, has been done to death. And I feel like they just do things for shock value at this point. And just don't vibe with it, brothers. I don't vibe with it at all. I liked it when it first came out, though. Okay, got our second layer. You know what that means. Our time. A 
also, if you are afraid of moving your face paint around, um, you can always just dab the powder into it. I totally forgot that I used to do that with this. But like I said, it's been over a year since I've decided to put gray on my face. So um, I guess we're all learning today. <laughs> I think the last time I painted myself was for my Mina video, which actually is on my channel. Um, I didn't really go into uh, detail in that one. It's kind of just like a speed video. Um, and I'm using a different brand. I'm using a Mevron uh, cream sticks in that brand. Well, in that video brand. I promise I'm not as dumb as I seem. <laughs> I mean, I might be, but I'm really not. Um, but anyways, uh, I might do an in-depth tutorial for her soon, but I also might do one for uh, Toga Himiko. Um, Ken Tom. <laughs> I feel like everyone kins her, but you know, it'd be like that. Okay, still a little wet, so we're just gonna wanna dry it out. Um, trying to fill up the dead space with sounds and, you know, stories, but I got none. All my brain can provide right now is the uh, story about the girl who um, went to a convention and ruined the hotel back bathtub with Sharpies because she was trying to make her skin gray. What a time to be alive. That was, yeah. Homestuck, so, okay, so <laughs> the reason there are so many combo rules at a convention, like always seal your body paint, don't do this, don't do that, because Homestuck's fucked up a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, they they messed up a lot. Um, that's why if you see me at a convention, I'm cleaning up, because I did not want to like be in a group that like was seen as, you know, troublemakers and stuff. Which sounds really nerdy of me, but leaving trash everywhere is not a good way to treat the places you're allowed to be especially when you can get when you're damaging a building that a convention is like paying to be there if it gets too damaged and you can't have that convention there anymore no they, they won't run it out anymore because they don't want those people there anymore i mean you just, you got to think about it that way would you rather would you like to keep going through these things excuse me my nose is running i got allergies but um if you would like to continue going to the things that you like then you treat the stuff around you while you're there with respect and that's just my philosophy. So this will probably be my last run through of paint. If you're doing this, then if you feel like you need to go another layer or five more layers, I'm not stopping you. But just keep in mind, the more layers you do, the more likely this is to crack, even if you're using the um, foundation method. Um, it builds up obviously and it's just, it's kind of the foundation gives it more of like a rubbery kind of thing where it stretches better so it's not as likely to crack but it can still crack if you build it up too much because then you have too much nazaru and just you have these big layers and then it just cracks instead of stretching so that's why i usually go three layers um but you know if you want to do like four or five i ain't stopping you you do whatever your little heart desires. I support you. And I didn't even have to use my beauty blender. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. You can tell this uh, foundation is old. It's kind of watery, but also there's a lot of foundations mixed in here. Like between the New York colors that it was and the, uh, I think I have All May in it. And then I think I also have like CoverGirl. Who knows what else is in there? Just whenever I start, you know, running low, throw it in there. Now, another thing I don't really care for with the light gray Snazaru is how light it is. Like, I almost look like I'm putting white face paint on. And I think I mean, part of that's because of the lights. But, like, if you did any kind of flash photography with this on, you would, you know, you would look, you know, washed out. So just keep that in mind too with this. And the Krylon is a little bit darker too. And I think that's why I like it. Um, I would like to try the Mephron, me, Mephron, however you say it, the cream sticks. I'd, so I would get the gray and probably mix it with white to get the color I want. Um, that way I get a little more variable color and it'd be easier to contour, um, which is something you should do if you're doing face paint. Uh, if you're doing troll makeup or any 
excuse me, anything like this, you do want to contour your, excuse me, your makeup. It makes it look more believable. Um, it makes it look like it's actual skin instead of, you know, I painted this on my face today. So, just something to keep in mind, and I will be contouring mine, you will be seeing that. Okay, so I think I'm pretty well covered. I'm going to kind of move that out of the way. Don't put up your snazz room water yet. Don't do it, because if you make a mistake, you're going to want that back. Just saying, <laughs> I made a mistake. It's like, so you know, if you're doing your makeup and you mess up something and you use concealer to like clean up, that's basically what your snazzaroo is gonna do for you. The snazzaroo and the foundation, you keep it out because if you mess up, you can use the snazzaroo and foundation to fix your mistakes. Just saying. I think my complaint with, um, baby powder is is it does kind of lighten up um, your makeup which can be a good thing but it also can be a bad thing um because like if you do your makeup too dark then you know it's lightened up but if it's already light like the snazaroo is it's not gonna it's, it's gonna lighten it up and you're not gonna be real happy with it but you know you may like how light this color is but I don't know if you do that's cool I just think it would look better if it was a little dark. Okay, so, I'm gray. As you can see, my eyelids aren't done. Um, trying to decide if I want to do primer on them or not. Actually, I might just do a really, really light bit of snazzaroo on them. real light. And I know I wanted to use this like primer, but I'm going to put powder over it because I don't want to like get snazzy stuck in my makeup that I use for everything else. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of powder over my eyes just so it seals a little bit and it doesn't crease up. Okay. Be careful, don't get powder in your eyes, it stings. Okay, so, usually with trolls, I usually base my makeup around the colors they wear. Um, unless I'm doing, like, if I'm doing Fuchsia Blood at Mulan, then I will do, like, gold accents and stuff like that. But, I'm doing just regular Mulans. So I'm just going to do um, a couple of different greens. Now I have a couple different palettes with green in them. Um, first one, this you can get at Walmart. Is the uh, NYX Ultimate Palette. Um, there is two colors at the bottom. These two right here. Those are close to what I might use. I might actually use this one on the far. And then I have a, the Meant to Be Palette from ColourPop. We'll, we'll do a close up of this, but um, I'm liking this color on the end right here, and maybe up in the middle. And then of course, um, uh, Revolution Beauty, which you can also, you also have to get online, or you can get at Ulta, um, close up as well, but, um, it's the Rainbow Palette. These two colors right here are the ones I will be using. Um, excuse me, my nose is, like, really running. Just, uh, it's my makeup real quick. Okay. I think I'm going to start with... Um, first of all, I'm going to grab a brush. Um, I'm going to probably use this brush um, to lay it down. And probably this big fluffy brush to blend everything in. Um, I'm going to probably start with with this color rainbow from the rainbow palette which would be this one right here I keep putting my hand in the water in the white one so I'm going to try to get closer to the camera a little bit hey excuse me I apologize so um, the thing I like about Revolution Beauty is it's pretty cheap, but it's pretty, you know, nice for the price. 
I'm just going to start from the inner corner and just kind of pat it on. And this is a really nice neon green. I didn't, I've not ever used this color before, so this is uh, new to me. Just kind of drag it along your lid. This probably looks yellow in this one, which I apologize, but it's a very yellowy color. I think that's kind of perfect. I might use this as a blush, which I like to do, um, you know, of course, in the um, blood colors of the troll. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about getting this outer corner um, because I'm going to be putting a darker color there. That's how I usually do any makeup I do. I'll do a base color and try to, I'll start from the inner corner and go mostly to the outside and then the darker color will go on my crease and on the outer edge and then I will probably get a sparkly color and put it on the inside here. Um, that's how I do most of my makeup. So let me get this other eye for you. I'm going to do the same thing. See, and if you're gentle, you can blend without messing up your gray. You just got to be gentle. And I'm actually going to move myself like this so I can see a little better. It's really shadowy over there. No, I think this is really a perfect color for Milan or Napata. That weird yellow, and I love it. Okay. And then we're going to use the color right below it called Atmosphere. And for this, I will get close. I'm going to start in my corner, in my crease. Give my eyes some depth. You see? You see the difference between my eyes? I'm just gonna do that and then I'm probably gonna take I am going to take my fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out a bit. Just a tiny bit, just to so it's not such a hard line. Then I'm going to do basically the same thing and go from right here out and then kind of connect it to my crease you see so we kind of got a wing going on and then I'm just going to fill that in a little bit heading inward or you know outward whichever way works for you but I always start here and move this way and then I will take the big fluffy brush and I will blend that out so it's not as harsh. I kind of, I think I might leave it a little harsh just because I think it gives it a nice little effect. I might add some more to my crease. You'll see me add and add and add because <laughs> I'm pretty indecisive. Okay. I want this to look straight up here. You see the difference between my eyes. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the inner here. Use my fluffy brush. It just gives your eye dimension, it doesn't make it look flat. Um, I think sometimes I have a hard time just using one eye shadow color just because it makes my eyes look flat and I don't like that. Um, some people pull it off real well. It's just not me. I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. Start with the crease. Now I might take this darker color, and put, actually I think I am going to take this darker color and put it on my under eye, which I will show you just like this. And 
no, I have a little bit of fallout here, so right here and her, so I'm just gonna push that bad boy down. Not the best thing. Now before I get too crazy with my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take a Q-tip and take all the snazz rue off my piercings, which I have quite a few now. You knew me back in the day, I've only had a, my first piercing, I actually might do a video on my piercings, but first piercing was my left nostril, and we did that at home. Don't do your piercings at home. Do not do your piercings at home, I will come for your toes. Um, and then my second piercing was my Medusa, which I've gotten done twice. Um, yeah. I'm still planning on more facial piercings, I think I want right to here done, but I'm not sure. Um, I want sparkles on my face. I think I'm going to use the mint tea color from the, um, mint to be palette. And I am still using the same brush. Don't come for me, please. It's just easier for me to use all the same color and all the same brush. Colourpop's probably the more expensive. This palette was more expensive than the other two I use. But it's definitely worth the price. They're a little more they're more expensive the ones I just used than the other ones I showed you. But they're still pretty affordable. Okay, we kinda have something going with my eyes. Now I'm actually going to grab um a black let me just for a second. So I'm actually going to use my blowing smoke palette um, for this gray in here called Slated. To do a little bit of contouring around my eye area. But I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm going to do it. side. I, I have to do mine weird because I have a bridge piercing, so I have to work around it. I thought, oh, this piercing will be so cute, but I did not realize how hard it was going to be to do my makeup around it, I'm going to be honest. I did it for the aesthetic. Do I regret my piercing? Absolutely not. But And then you can blend it out with stone face. You see how much better that looks? Like my nose actually has depth to it now. I am going to use this. And I'm going to do the same thing around the bottom of my nose. Here. Maybe across the top. Here. I always said I was going to do contouring later in the video, but I lied to you. I'm doing it now because <laughs> I have the palette out. Now I used the contour just using the color of the Trolls blood, but it ended up just looking like blush. I think that was like, I thought I was doing something real cool when I was doing that. Um, didn't look bad, but it, it wasn't refined, you know what I mean?
See, one side of my face looks more real than the other. I just, I can understand if you don't want to do, you know, contouring on your face, but like, it just, it adds a lot to your cosplays um, when you do body makeup or face paint like this. I feel like it adds, um, and especially if you're cross-playing, um, like if I was doing a male character, I could just make my features look more masculine using the um, contour, which is awesome. Um, doesn't mean you gotta do it. I'm just trying to give you a reason to try it. But you don't have to. If you're happy with how your stuff looks, then don't fix it. I just, well, don't fix what's broken is what I'm trying to say. If you like the way your stuff looks, then don't, don't feel pressured to change it. Just a little bit of contour. As it should. You know. As you can see, I'm procrastinating on using the eyeliner because it's the um, scariest part of this whole production. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the eyeliner now. See, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna be embarrassed to show you the close up of this, but this is Maybelline. Blah, blah, blah. Maybelline's Ultra Liner in Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Um, it is waterproof. I have been using this eyeliner. Not this exact one that I'm going to show you. But I've been using this brand since I was in like 10th grade. And if that tells you anything. Um, I have oily eyelids. So um, I'm pretty picky about my eyeliner. Um, I do have complaints with this eyeliner. I've been using it for a very long time. Um, my complaint is that it will build up and flake off, and I don't like that. It just comes right off. It just flakes and you can pull it off, and I don't like when that happens. So we're doing a cat eye from the room. And I know I'm gonna do, she has the double wings, so I'm going to try something different that I've always wanted to try with her makeup. Um, once I get my first set of wings down and I start on my bottom set. No, wings are hard, don't feel bad if you can't get them right because I've been doing wings since like 10th grade and still can't do them right, so literally do not feel bad about them. Do not feel bad about anything you do wrong. We're all learning. Okay? Don't feel bad. Yeah. Got one eye kind of going. I'm, of course, going to do a little cat, you know, cheered up for, you know, a little pointy bit. Um, but let me get my first wing down, and then that'll probably be one of the last things I do on my eyes. Oh, we're also going to be doing false lashes today, so that's going to be fun for everybody involved. And just, um, something else, your hands sweat, be careful putting them on your face. If you're using a water-based makeup. Sweaty hands will get rid of your hard work. Trust me, I've been there. And my left eye always turns out worse than my right eye. I don't know if it's because I do it second. I don't know, it's just like awkward to reach for your left eye when you're right-handed. For me it is. I don't know if it is for anybody else, but... Drama Gel Liner. 
I have also been using this for a long time. Um, actually, I used it in high school and then threw it away because I figured it was expired and hadn't used it in a while. Um, so this is the first time I've had it in a couple of years. But what's nice is it comes in like a little cake. Um, don't leave it out without the cap on or it will dry and be hard to apply. Comes with a little angled um, eyeliner brush. I had to think of the word. I almost said eyeshadow. So I don't know how well this will show up on camera. But I might have to do the thing I used to do in 10th grade where I stretched out my skin. Okay, I'm sorry you guys can't see this, but this is literally the first time I've done it, so I'm just like... Remember how I said, don't put away your snazzy, really, you might want it? It's a perfect example. Make sure to let it dry. Don't try to go over top of it while it's still wet. Oh, my hat's drying. I guess I'll do my little kitty cat ear. Ear. Kitty cat eye. Alright, that's a lot better. So, double wing. I think I kind of like it. I'm going to go ahead and do eye mascara on that side. Um, mascara I am using is the Maybelline Snap. The little Maybelline Snap Scare. Excuse me, Snap Scare in pitch black. This is not waterproof. This will come off with water. But it is my favorite mascara. Um, excuse me I want to pull extra stuff off my eyelashes. Actually, before I do this, I am going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. If you've never seen an eyelash curler, curler this is what it looks like. Um, push it. Uh, this one's from the dollar store. They have a bunch of different colors. I couldn't resist the mint one. So, when you do your eyelash curler, you want to... Get your eyelashes, of course, in it, and you want to get it as close as you can. And, uh, like that a couple Makes your eyelashes look fuller, I think. But I don't know if you can tell the difference between each side, other than, you know, I put stuff underneath, but... Get your eyelashes as best you can. I mean, you're gonna be putting fake lashes on, but you do want your eyelashes to be pretty coated. Um, um, something else I'm going to do before I move on to the other eye is I'm going to um, out to line my water lines. Um, you don't have to do this if you're uncomfortable. In fact, I won't blame you if you don't do this if you're uncomfortable because it is sometimes really hard to do. Look away if you don't like eye horror. Alright, now we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, that is not what I was looking for. Literally every time I use Snazzaru, my white uh, my left eye waters and messes everything up. Why it does this, I do not know. Would I prefer it not do this? Absolutely. I'm just gonna use some um, of the waterproof eyeliner on the bottom. Um, wing. Clean up the left side a little bit before I add the cat eye part. Um, this is what Look 
Right. Okay. I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. Um, my eyebrows were shaved off. Not gonna lie to you. So, and I've only shaved them off ever completely once in my life, and that was recently. So, if my eyebrows don't look right, please don't roast me. I'm I'm learning. I'm going to do tiny baby Kate cat eyebrows because that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Just like that. Let's do it from the Glow Smoke palette. And of course I'm using the same brush because I am an idiot. of the rainbow and atmosphere the two greens we used on our eyes so I usually just follow my contour when I put blush on um, I think it looks better but I also think it's cute when you put it all across your face I, I don't know super cute and I love them so we're gonna do them. This is um, a little sample of the Winky Lux Charm. Winky Lux Charm um, highlighter that I got a long time ago but put away because I was using it all the time and I didn't run out and have to buy more. And I of course am using my fingers because I'm a gremlin. I'm a little freaking goblin. I'm kind of doing that in a circle. I thought this had a tiny mirror and I hope I'll be really excited about that. Baby mirror. But again, I am disappointed. Now, I forgot to mention, when you are rubbing your fingers or brushes against your paint, be very gentle with yourself, because it will come off if you are not gentle. Talking to you. It'll, it'll be, it'll come off. Alright, so I am going to do formula. I usually just do my upper lip. 
in black, so I'm going to actually use this mechanical eyeliner instead of my pencil one, mostly because I don't feel like sharpening. Just going to lose that first, the cap off the end. But you know, in all fairness, this probably could use sharpen, so. Got an outline. to use my one of my favorite lipsticks ever which is the liquid cat suit by wet n wild um this will last for the most part through your day if you put it on too thick it will flake um the only liquid lipstick i like more than wet n wild's liquid cat suit is uh the maybelline uh, matte ink lipstick that will stick all day through your meals i can apply it in the morning and not have to apply it later on it's I miss having contacts from you, and I used to have ones with my where it looked like my eyes were crossed out. Thought those were real cute for her, but I don't have them no more. And before I do the green lipstick on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and do freckles. So freckles can be done a couple different ways. My favorite way to do them is I'm cleaning up the wrong um, Take your spoolie brush. Spoolie brush. It's like a mascara wand. I call them spoolie brushes. Um, some water wet your brush and I usually use liquid black paint face paint it's important face paint please use face paint on your face I'm not sure what like anything else will do to you like uh, um, like acrylic paint or something I'm not sure what that'll do to your skin so don't do that I'm gonna grab some of your face paint this one that I have in my hand is like cheap face paint from Walmart and it's kind of goopy and rough, so you might want to like really wet it down before you use it. Um, I just want to get some orange bully. You can do this with a toothbrush either. Easy. Two, it's sometimes easier is what I'm trying to say to you, but I am dumb. You're just going to take your thumb and... Kind of, just kind of wipe it on yourself. Well, not wipe it, just kind of spray it on yourself is what I meant to say. Um, spray it where you want the freckles to go. Um, it's been a long time since I've done this, in case you can't tell. Oh, gosh. It, it, it'll make your hands nasty, too, so make sure you're able to wipe your hands off. I always concentrate my freckles on my cheeks, the nose, the forehead, and chin, but try to get some a little bit everywhere, um, just so it looks more natural. But you can definitely concentrate them in a certain place. And I have a little dot under my eye, which I'm going to incorporate into my makeup for a because I love her and she's me. I like adding moves and uh, beauty marks to my uh, cosplays and stuff. I just feel like it adds a little bit more character. I have a towel right here. Might be my hands off. So wipe your hands off or do anything else because you will get black paint everywhere and you want to want to lose it. I'm going to use this um, liquid eyeliner and I'm going to add my dot. Very tiny. There, see it. Um, just gonna probably go over this with a tiny bit of snazzaroo. Actually, no, I'm gonna go over it with powder. Just kind of set everything in. Dab that on. 
makes them not as, I mean, it makes them, not only does it set it, but it makes them so they look a little bit more natural, I guess. You probably can't see them in the, I'm probably too far away, but I have some freckles. Ah. I'm going to go over with the lipstick again, just because it's looking a little muted. from green lipstick from Maybelline it looks like probably where it's from it's their metallic uh, brand they metallic line they had out a while ago long time ago this one's called serpentine and I'm just gonna kind of dab it on blend it out because I don't I think this is too blue I'm going to go over this with um, the colors from the Revolution palette real quick. I think my makeup is done. So this was the makeup portion. Now we're, no, I'm not done. I lied to you. We're doing lashes today, aren't we? So for lashes, you want your lashes, which not the ones in there. I'm going to use these ones. I think they're from Kiss. Um, they're like the Blowout series, Beehive, I think was the name of them. They look like this. You want for your lashes is you want a pair of tweezers and of course lash glue this is the kiss uh, strip adhesive strip lash adhesive with aloe i believe and you just want to you know put some glue on your lashes get them gluey um sometimes for extra hold i will also do a line of glue on my eyelids um tricky business doing that but you don't want to apply this as soon as you put the glue on. You want to let the glue dry a little bit so it's more tacky. It's gonna... And I think that's probably dry enough. And what you're going to do is I'm going to get close to the screen. I always position mine towards the middle and secure the back side first. And then I will take my tweezers and fix this other part. The little part towards the inner corner. I'm just gonna slide them up. You don't want them exactly on your lash line because it'll pull your lashes, your real lashes out when you pull them off. And that's it. Uh, fake lashes are not easy to put on. Um, I'm surprised I put them on that easy. This other one's probably gonna be awful. I'm going to fix my look real quick. I'll fix this up in a minute. It'll be fixed. Don't worry about it. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side for the other lash. like I've only used this one when I'm putting on this lash like one other time <laughs> and it's just been sitting. The other lash look like it's, looks like it's never ever been used. And they got lashes. Isn't that fantastic? I usually just kind of push them together with the tweezers. I'm going to fix up this eyeliner right here because it is it's watering, my eyes watering for no reason. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is 
use the setting spray from Ironheart Revolution, which is also Makeup Revolution, and this is the Strawberry and Creams one. Then I'm gonna put my fake fangs in. These are the Love Bites from Scarecrow. Um, you fit them to your teeth. We're gonna do the wig. Everyone's favorite part. Which I didn't bring a brush in here because I'm an eight. This wig is old. It is from Wig is Fashion. I bought it specifically for Milan because I wanted her to be the best cosplay I could have because I wanted to do her justice. Uh, putting a wig on, I hope you know how to do that because I didn't explain how to do it. Let's make sure the little ear pieces match. This one doesn't feel like it has ear pieces. Of course, it doesn't. My mirror, how am I told my hair? I look beautiful. Brush from the bottom up in case no one told you. I told you. So now you are. And then, so I just had these cheap elf ears from Wish, actually, and I painted them gray. They don't match my current gray color, obviously, because I'm an idiot. And I just going to put those on. Actually, no, I'm not going to put those on. I'm going to put my horns on first. The horns will get in the way of the ears. Said ears. <laughs> my horns. So I always position my horns about where I want them, a little bit further down, and then I will grab hair from the wig and put them on top. Lots of hair from the wig and put them on top. Secure my horns and position the hair around my horns so that you cannot see the headband. And then you want to put your ears in, or on. And that's it. I am done. I'm going to button this last button on this shirt here. But completely absolutely done I look like best girl I just I always feel so cute sir like thank you for watching um Feel free to tell me anything you liked, anything you disliked, anything I should do better, anything you don't want to see anymore, anything you want to see more of. Just critique me, please. Maybe. I'd be happy if you did, and I can make better things for you guys to watch. But thank you so much for watching, and I will be back again with another, probably another tutorial that's in depth like this, because I like talking a lot. <laughs> But he just calls them the tutorials in which Grace never shuts up, ever. Um, but tell me if you like me talking to you and explaining what I'm doing more than um, me just doing a speed tutorial. Um, let me know if you would prefer that from now on. Uh, just, I need feedback 
if you could please i would appreciate it um again thank you so much have a nice day happy 413 uh home sucks trash dab on them we're done